Hello everyone, this is Brian with Simware. Today I'm going to do a short demo of selecting shifts and setting their start and end points. This is for editing events while using availability for attendee management. We'll be using two devices, first an iPad version 7 from 2017 and second an iPhone 6 from 2015. Rather than mirror the devices to a screen, I shot actual video so that you can get a better feel for how this goes. All right, let's get started. Starting off on the iPad, I'm going to try selecting an event or a, a shift. Uh, you click on one of the green availability bars. It turns red as a shift. And then you press on the shift until the grab points appear at the left and right edges. And then you can move those to the left and right. If you miss the grab point and grab it more towards the middle, uh, you'll be moving the entire event, which will then just snap back like rubber bands because you really need to uh, hit the grab points. So you want to center your finger right over the, the circle. Uh, well, a recent change is that when you select an availability item that uh, goes until, say, 8 o'clock at night, the shift initially comes to only 3 p.m. Uh, it doesn't matter so much on the iPad, but it's useful for an iPhone or other phone uh, to minimize scrolling. When you have a red shift and you press on it, you might notice a small change in color, which indicates that the, it's been selected and the grab points are going to appear. I'm just uh, demoing. Uh, we're just showing a few more examples of selecting an availability item. It turns into a shift, and then you can modify it. Now we're switching to the iPhone, and uh, one of the th recent changes is that you can, in order to scrunch things down, uh, we're only showing the first name and the last initial. You can also choose to, within the settings editor you can uh, choose to show the first initial and the last name. Depends on what's uh, easiest for your roster of employees. And again, we're, uh, you click on an availability item, it turns red. Then you hold down on the red item until the grab bars appear, and then you can move the shift. I'd also like to point out this is more important on iPhone, but you can scroll by touching in the uh, pretty much anywhere on the calendar. Uh, but typically the top bar where that shows the time is where I go to do it. If you touch on one of the other events, you might actually alter something. So you can you can scroll in one of the open spaces or using the, the time bar across the top. And we're showing how if you click on the name of uh, an associate that it moves up to the top, which is useful for a company with, say, 20 employees. Uh, you can pick the five that you're interested in, click on them to move them up to the top, and then you can see the uh, arrangements that you're making all at once, rather than try to remember who was working exactly when. And that pretty much sums it up. Thank you for your time.